গুড মর্নিং আমি সারিকা অ্যান্ড ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার বাটারফ্লাই গার্ডেন উজান চলে এসো আজকে আমি আপনাদের একটা বাটারফ্লাই ওয়াকে নিয়ে যাব এবং বাটারফ্লাই সম্পর্কে অনেক জানা অজানা তথ্য আমি আপনাদের সঙ্গে আজকে শেয়ার করব চলুন আমার সঙ্গে চলো কোনো সমস্যা আসছে না খেলছে আচ্ছা কোনো সমস্যা নেই অর্জুন এখানে আছে অর্জুন না একটু দেখে নাও আমি দেখে নিচ্ছি হ্যালো হ্যালো আই অ্যাম অর্জুন আই অ্যাম জয়েন হোয়াট আর ইউ ডুইং প্লেইং ইউ ডিডেন্ট গো ফর দ্য বাটারফ্লাই ওয়াক হুম ইউ আর নট ইন্টারেস্টেড ইন বাটারফ্লাইস নট মাচ আই অ্যাম প্লেইং বাট ইউ লাইক টু ডু মোস্ট ডু ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু সি সাম ম্যাজিক yeah but you yes if it is here i guess yeah then let's go okay Ujan Look at this Go close Do you know what it is? No It's a butterfly egg That tiny of an egg? Yes Such a big butterfly in this room Such a tiny egg Yes That's the magic Do butterfly incubate their eggs like birds? No The female butterfly lays the egg singly or in cluster and then fly away in general they take 3 to 5 days to hatch and from each egg comes out a caterpillar wow that's amazing yeah and when the caterpillar comes out they eat the egg shell that's their first meal and then they start eating the leaves of the host plant This is the reason the mother butterfly is very selective about the plant she lays egg on. Can we see one caterpillar now? Yes, let's search for it. Okay, there can be a caterpillar. We can see the marks over there. Look, this is a plain tiger caterpillar. How is the wing of the butterfly formed from this larva? Not exactly formed from this larva. When the caterpillar grows big enough, it goes into pupation. And after pupation within the pupa, the full body of this caterpillar changes into four wings, two antenna, one proboscis and six legs. Wow. Can we see a pupa? Of course, we can look for that. Are pupa also found on leaves? Yes, they can be found on leaves or on stems or barks. Once they form the pupa, they hang themselves from twigs or the stems with a string-like structure. Here you can see one. Look, the string structure. It's a pupa of a lime butterfly. From this stage, the adult butterfly will come out. Wow. Come. From the morning you have seen the tiny egg, from there the caterpillar and now the pupa. And from the pupa comes out the big butterfly. Inside the pupa, the formation of wings, the formation of legs, antenna and proboscis, all those thing happen. And this entire episode is called the metamorphosis. How long does it take for the entire metamorphosis? Well, it depends. Depending on the weather, 
the season and the species you are looking at, it may vary from 4 weeks to 14 weeks or even more. Wow, that is amazing. See, this is the magic of Mother Nature, the entire metamorphosis. But this is not all. Let's explore other interesting things. Is this a lab? Yes, this is our butterfly lab and they are my butterfly team. They do research on butterflies. Is that a microscope? Yes, it is. And he is Orchon. Orchon, will you please show us something? Yes. Can you show Ujan the antenna of the butterfly? Sure. Can you see something? So you are seeing the antenna of the butterfly. If you look at it carefully, you will get to see that there are segments. With the antenna, butterflies take various information from nature. Now you are looking at a very interesting body part of butterfly, the proboscis. Butterfly don't have jaws, they can't chew food. With this proboscis, they sip the nectar from flower and also water from wet soil. If you look carefully, you can see two barrel-like structures clubbed together, like the double barrel gun. Now you are seeing the legs of the butterfly. If you carefully observe, you will get to see three parts. The uppermost part is quite muscular. And in the middle part, you can see some hook-like structures. And the lower part, you will get to see a claw-like structure. With that, butterfly get hold of the leaf and the flower surface and can sit. This is the butterfly wing. Are you seeing the small cell-like structures? Yeah. Look, they are arranged like roof tiles. Butterfly wings have steam vents and on those vents, the scales are arranged like this. And whatever color you see of the butterflies, are from these scales, which have pigments. Thank you. Bhajan, come, I will show you something else. Look at these boxes. We collect the larva from the garden and then raise them inside the lab and we allow them to complete their metamorphosis within the box. And once they are out as adult, we release them in the garden again. Let's go to the dome. This is our dome. You can see many butterflies here. And all the flowers, there are host plants. All these are nectar plants. This is Popsia fruticosa. Ujan, Ujan, look at this. That spider. Is that spider eating a butterfly? Exactly. The spider is eating a butterfly. The spiders plays a very important role in the food chain. They eat insects and other creatures and keep the balance of the food chain. Also the butterflies are very important in the food chain. They are the food for other insects, spiders, birds, lizards and geckos. So you can see the prey predator relationship here. Other than this, do butterflies have any other contribution to nature? Yes, they are among the best pollinators. Because of them, the pollination is happening across the globe. If the butterflies are not there, there will be less fruits and there will be imbalance in the whole ecosystem. We will not have a good life the way we have now. One thing, unlike in the morning, the butterflies are not sitting now. Why? Yeah, actually in the morning what they were doing is called basking. By spreading their wings, they were actually taking the sun rays to heat up their body. By doing that, they raise their body temperature and remain active throughout the day. Like the way we charge our mobile in the night, it's quite similar to that. Let's go.
Yeah, actually, wait a minute. I saw one thing in doors. Some of the butterflies were sitting on the ground and doing something. Okay, you have seen the mud puddling then. So the butterflies take minerals from wet soil to have a good life. Ujan, look at that. They are mating. When the butterfly comes out from the pupa, they look for their mates. Once they find their mate, they go for mating. After mating, the egg starts developing in the female abdomen. After a few days, the female starts laying eggs in a selected host plant. This is how the butterfly life cycle kickstarts. Ujan, now we have to release the butterflies emerge today. We have to release them during the daylight, otherwise they will be in trouble. What do butterflies do during the night? They go for a roost. Roost is a kind of sleep where they stay on their feet motionless throughout the night. Let's go. Done? 